All right, what is going on, guys? It is Discreet Venus Gaming here, and I know I'm doing a different type of video today. Um, so today is Friday, December seventh of two thousand eighteen, and the new Magic set, Ultimate Masters, came out today. And uh, you know I had to pre-order me a box. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open up this box for the channel. Now, I haven't done that much type of magic content on the channel before. I used to do a lot of it, like deck techs and stuff like that, back in the old days. But, that was back then. This is new, magic content. I am peaking. And my magic content is peaking, as we speak. So, here we go. If you want to poke out for me, that'd be sweet. So we have our box topper, which this is a foil full art card. We'll keep that, we'll save that pack for last. Now, <laughs> I've been hyped about this set since they announced it. I'm really hoping that the set itself, like the box, is going to do us justice. But anyway, let's take all the packs out here. Also, my... <laughs> My dad just texted me saying that the suspense was killing him, because I told him that I would uh, send, or I'd show him my pools. And he was also, shout out to him, he told me to do this box for YouTube. I originally probably wasn't going to, but he was like, hey, you should make a video on it. The day it's releasing, it'd get a good bit of views. So I'm just going to set all these packs over here to the side. We'll set our box topper right there so we know that it's last. And we will start with these openings. Now, they really made these packs YouTuber friendly because they put the token at the front and then they put the. F or, so our token's an elemental. They put our foil and then they put the rare. Oh my god. That's a mythic, right? Yeah, starting out the box with a mythic. I'm um, a Sagarda host of herons. She's a 5 5 flying hexproof. Spells and abilities my opponents control cannot cause me to sacrifice permanence. We'll keep all our rares and mythics up there. We had Appetite for Brains, Rally the Peasants, and Ghoul Steed as our com or uncommons. And there's nothing really that valuable in the uncommons. I should probably actually sleeve every foil because I've seen people opening their boxes already. And they said within four hours of opening it, like it doesn't have that much of a curl now, but they said within four hours of opening their foil cards, they've already warped really badly. So let's go ahead and sleeve up our foils now. So there's our fairy rogue. Faith, ooh, that's, oh my god. Wow. Wow. That's a good pack. Faithless looting foil. And Celestial Colonnade. Wow, good stuff. Good stuff. Lava Spike, suddenly done in brawn. Wow. That is, we gotta sleeve that up. Like, that's, that's good stuff right there. And we should probably go ahead and sleeve up our, I think, let me just pull all these sleeves out of the packages. So, sleeve up the Faithless Looting. Sleeve up the Sigarda. Well, this box is off to a fantastic start. Let's see if we can keep this luck going. So we have a spider, Hooting Mindrels, and Gaddock Teague. I'm not sure how valuable Gaddock Teague is, but we're going to sleeve them up anyways. Ooh, young pyromancer. Very nice. Yeah, even if it's just a common, we're gonna go ahead and sleeve it up. So let's go to the next pack. I should have probably pulled my trash can around here. Actually, if you guys don't mind, we're gonna set the pack right there so you know I'm not messing with it. I'm gonna move my guitar out of the way, grab my trash can, which is conveniently already next to my bed. We'll grab my trash can, we'll put all of my 
trash in there, like pack wrappers, the box wrapper. All right, so here we go. We have the zombie token. Soul tie skull keeper of squee. Very nice. Reviving vapors, chainers edict, hero of your own. Sweet treasure cruise. So let me sleeve up everything. This is probably going to be a long video. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. You know what? I'll stick to just sleeving up my foils from this point on just so we can get through this a little bit faster. Alright, so we have a homunculus, just the wind, and ooh, Revelark. Anger, good pack, good pack. Alright, let's start with the second stack now. Alright, so we have a citizen token, thermo alchemist, seize the day. I've never seen this card. Untapped target creature after this main phase, there's an additional combat phase. Nice. Nice. Four mana, I mean, that could be a good commander card. Right, so there's one token that I'm looking for. It's like a four or five dollar token in here. It's the, uh, it's the Dark Depths creature token. So Spirit, Fiend Hunter, and ooh, I don't know the exact value on that, but I know that that's a really popular card. Dig Through Time. And then those right there. So... It's the zombie token, reviving vapors, and a daybreak coronet. There we go. So, become immense, grave strength, rolling timblor. Timblor? Yeah, timblor. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start double stacking like that. Um, shout out to my LGS for selling me this box for $259.99 plus tax. I have a feeling that that's a really good value. So there's a zombie token, foil, nightbirds, clutches, <laughs> oh my god, engineered explosives. This, this box is really good right now, guys. It's doing us good. I'm going to have to go and look up all the values of these cards. But obviously the main pulls that we want is the Liliana, the Tarmogoy, all this stuff. So we have Elemental. Groundskeeper foil. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Tarmogoyf! Tarmogoyf! Wow. Wow. Not even half, probably, may, probably maybe halfway through the box right now. And. Oh no, don't fall, please. No, this is, we're having a good run here. We're having a good run here, phone. Don't act gay. There we go. There we go. Alright, so there's that token we were talking about. I'll put that over here. A Mad Prophet Foil Maelstrom Pulse. Oh yeah, there we go. Got our first Boggle. I think we're going to keep out that Boggle. I think we're going to eventually build Boggles in Modern. It seems like a good deck. So we have Ooze token, we have Foil, and we have Containment Priest. Yeah, let me just readjust this so you can see all the cards and stuff. So, Fiend Toner, Spirit Cream, Mystic. This box is... We've probably already gotten our value back at least. So, Elemental Token, Lotus Eye Mystic, Tower and Sky Summoner, Dawn Charm Conf Conflagrate, Moraine River Prowler. Alright. Well, that Spirit Token's pretty. So there's a spirit token, fume spitter foil, and spoils of the vault. Ooh, sleight of hand. Keep that out and then buried alive. All right. All right. So we have a zombie token, 
iridescent drake foil and all is dust. Ooh, this is a really good pack too, because there's us an eternal witness. Garner the Blood Flame and Hero of Lina Tower. Alright, we're starting on the last stack of cards now. Oof, what are you doing, Fong? Come on now. I was cooperating earlier. I'll just stick these over here with the foils. My expensive, valuable uncommons. <coughs> Alright, so we have Spider, God's Willing Foil. Oh my god! <laughs> Snapcaster Mage. Oh my god. Dude, this box is great. I'm hoping we don't whiff with our box topper, but this is a really great box so far. Wow. There's a zombie token, shielding plex, demonic tutor. Oh my god. Then put a worm, deck my salvage, blah blah blah. Oh my god, this box is. I mean, I cannot keep talking about. Uh, I have to keep talking about this box. This thing is doing us good right now. We haven't even had our foil rare yet. So we have our elemental token, malevolent whispers, thespian stage. And we have those uncommons. Oh, trash. You need to go back over here. So we have six packs left. I need to really get me a recording camera. Alright, so we have our Citizen Token, Verdant Eidolon, Foil, and Gamble. Fakonity, blah blah blah, blah, blah. Alright. Spark and a little token. Grave Scrabbler Foil, Fauna Shaman. Ooh, Kitchen Finks. Like I was saying earlier, I don't think we've had a really bad pack yet. Like, all of our packs are really good so far. Alright, so Drake, Token, Aether Snipe, Foil, Rhea, Dawnbringer. Songs of the Damned, Wild Hunger, Forbidden Alchemy. Oh yeah, that's right, we still have that box topper too. That's right. So I guess I can show the proper pack opening because you don't open these packs like normal packs. For some reason, so there's an elemental token, Forbidden Alchemy Foil, Sovereigns of Lost Alara. So, Miraculous Recovery, Snake Umbra, Angel of Despair. So we have two packs. I'll open, I'll show you guys the proper way to open these packs. So they're kind of like Battle Bond packs, where you tear them from the side like that, and then they tear along that way. So we have an Ooze Token, a Prey Upon Foil, Seismic Assault. There we go. Now I've heard that Counter Squall is a good card, or a good uncommon, so I'm going to put that over there. For a Celebration, Swift Reckoning. Last pack. We're going to have good luck with this pack. Hope so. There's our worm token. No foil rare. Oh my god! <laughs> Noble High Arc in the last pack. Did I get every good card there is to get? Like, let's just go over all of these rares and mythics. So we had the Seismic Assault, Sovereigns of Lost Alara, Rhea, Snapcaster Mage, All is Dust. Spoils, Dig Through Time, Seize the Day, Revel Arc, Noble High Arc, Shaman, Gamble, Thespian Stage, Talrend, Demonic Tutor, that, Tarmogoyf, Engineered Explosives, Daybreak Coronet, Squee, Gaddock, Celeste, Steel Colonnade, and Sigarda. Now, I didn't get a Planeswalker, so let's see what this box topper is. Alright, let me see which side 
has the back of the card. Alright, so we've got it right here. Alright. Alright, this is it. Are you guys ready? Oh, oh well, I mean cards already starting to warp a little bit, but I mean Gaddic Teague is not I mean it's not what we wanted, but it's pretty. It's a pretty as hell card. Alright, so that will conclude this box opening. I mean, I can't really complain in all honesty because the box is great. The box is really good. I'm pretty positive that I broke even. So, in all honesty, I mean, I can't complain. Best cards that we got were for sure Celestial Colonnade. We didn't get a Planeswalker, no, but we got every other really good card that there is to get other than the Planeswalkers. Liter oh, we didn't get any Eldrazi either, but that's personally fine with me. So I'm trying to see what my fourth, or see if I got a fourth Mythic. So I don't think I did. Unless Rhea is a mythic. I think Rhea is a mythic. Sorry that my camera just fell over. Yeah, I think I only got three mythics, but there were three really good mythics. So the three best mythics other than the Planeswalkers that you can get. Anyways, this is Discreet Venus Gaming. And I will see you guys later with a, another video.